Hey everybody, welcome to my review of Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts and review this powerful data recovery app designed for your Mac. The nice people who developed Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional reached out to me and asked if I would consider reviewing their app. After researching this app, I agreed to the review so I could share this powerful tool with my audience. Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional is a tool you can use to recover critical documents, emails, photos, and videos from any storage media that is designed to work with macOS High Sierra and will work with many older versions of macOS and OS X back to OS X 10.6 Snow Leopard. The app is essentially a powerful undelete tool that can scan your main computer drive or any external drive, such as a thumb drive or external hard drive, and identify any recoverable files and help you recover or undelete the desired file from a list it creates of files that are still recoverable. But what I think is really unique about it is the great user-friendly interface. From the moment you run it, there's no beating around the bush. Everything is right there in plain sight without being overwhelming. And for those who like to tinker, they did include more advanced settings that even allow you to specify specific file types to scan for. But the default options are great and scan for everything, so most regular people won't ever really need to use those settings. To use the app, press the blue Next button in the lower right hand corner, then choose the drive in question, then press Scan. Depending on the size of the drive and how many files are recoverable, the scan can take some time, so be patient. But when the scan is done, the app will populate the list of recoverable files that are still available. One minor caveat to this is if you're using this app on your main system drive, you will need to disable system integrity protection. I would recommend enabling system integrity protection again once you're finished using the app as leaving this off can be a serious security risk. When you use the app on your main system drive, it gives you great instructions about how to disable the system integrity protection and even encourages you to take a picture of the instructions to assist you. Disabling and re-enabling the system integrity protection is actually pretty simple. Restart your Mac and as it shuts down, hold down the Command and R key simultaneously while it boots back up. This will boot your Mac to the recovery mode. Once there, click on Utilities and choose Terminal. Then type in the command CSRUTIL Disable. Then press Return. Then restart your Mac. Now you can use Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional on your main system drive. Once finished, I would recommend going back and turning the system integrity protection back on by restarting in the same fashion as before, and then going back to Terminal and typing in CSRUTIL Enable and then press return and restart. It is necessary to turn the system integrity protection off for any undelete or data recovery app to work on the main system drive as it directly accesses the operating system and file system in ways that most apps should not, but in this case is required in order to undelete or recover files. Like I said earlier, this is a powerful app. This can come in really handy if you accidentally delete a really important file and then empty the recycle bin. The sooner you use the app after the file you're looking for has been deleted, the more likely you will be able to recover the file. As I said earlier, this can be used on any drive you connect to your Mac as it appears to work with multiple file systems, including HFS and HFS Plus, FAT, XFAT, NTFS, and of course the new Apple file system, APFS. Now let's go through and do a quick demonstration. I have a small PNG picture file called deltest1.png on this flash drive. Now let's delete it, and now empty the trash so it's completely gone. Now let's run Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional and scan the flash drive. I've selected the flash drive and press scan. Now we'll have to wait for the scan. Now that the scan is complete, we can see the populated list of recoverable files on the flash drive. And here we have our deltest1.png. Click the box next to the file to select the file. You can recover multiple files if you like. I've noticed that every file on the list is checked by default, and if you're recovering everything, then that's handy. But if you just want one file, like in this example, then you can go over to the navigation bar on the left and clear the drive checkbox. That will deselect everything, so you can just check what you want to recover. Once you've selected what you want to recover, press the blue Recover button. Then it prompts you to select the location you'd like to save the recovered file. I'll choose the desktop to make it easy, then click Save. Now your file should be recovered, and in this case, on the desktop, for us to see. See how easy, powerful, and user-friendly that was? Another bonus feature of Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional is that it can also help you clone any drive to a DMG disk image file for backup. This is a great way to make a clone backup of your computer to an external hard drive. 
you can download a free version of Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional from their website to try out. But if you find any files you want to recover, you will be prompted to purchase the software, which is also available on their website and in stores like Amazon, Staples, and Walmart. I'll leave links to the official site and the Amazon purchase page in the description below if you'd like to check those out. Overall, Stellar Phoenix Mac Data Recovery Professional is a really great data recovery app that's user-friendly and comes with a bonus feature of letting you clone drives to disk image files. Super handy! If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one!